what's going on everybody welcome back to geeks Stew. and today guys welcome back to another episode of conspiracy theories with ike that's right and today guys we are back with another theory thanks to cicada 1205 for the conspiracy theory iceberg as always and uh yeah so <clears throat> pardon my clearing throat there but i do want to address something real quick so um, this is like the intro of the intro, so um, if you don't want to hear me talk about me addressing something that was recently brought up on the page, uh, feel free to skip ahead, um, maybe about 30, 40 seconds, maybe a minute. <clears throat> but, um, so I want to real quick address this comment. So, I obviously uh, mean no hate to this individual. I don't intend this to be a negative thing, and I don't... Um, want to make a big deal out of it but here, here's the deal okay there is no such thing as original content on youtube anymore all right i'm gonna be honest with you we've all seen a hundred different variations of the same content being replayed over and over and over and over again um it's no mystery that <clears throat> there are other people on youtube who do similar conspiracy theory content to myself i am by no means the first and i will by no means be the last Here's what I want to point out, though. While this person is not inherently incorrect, I do take some inspiration from other people. Um, but while I understand that other folks use this format, I do intend this to be my version of things. If it has similarity to other creators, while they may have been used as inspiration, what I bring you week weekly is indeed my authentic self and my version of these conspiracies. Also, the half-baked editing that you get is from me as well. Do I implement the use of memes and everything else to sort of break up the monotony of a video? Absolutely. But <clears throat> I don't necessarily want to be compared to people like Wendigoon. As much as I love Wendigoon, I, I am different than Wendigoon. I think the biggest thing that sets me apart from Wendigoon is the fact that I do typically focus on one to two conspiracies per video rather than addressing sections of an iceberg at once. Um, I did address the first level of this iceberg with my uh, co-host, uh, Salsa Shark, on the Control Over C podcast, but that was sort of just a one-time thing, since I did want to cover the first layer of this conspiracy or iceberg, but I didn't want to have to do an individual video on a bunch of stuff that most people already know. So with that in mind, I just want to make it clear that I, while I do understand these comments, and while this person has every right in the world to make these comments... They're not super necessary, and I, while I respect that it's your opinion, I don't want people to have the similar opinion that I'm trying to like copy Wendigoon, because I'm not. I'm just simply bringing you my authentic self and bringing you conspiracies from an iceberg. I'm giving you my take on these conspiracies and my opinions regarding these conspiracies, and also giving you some detailed information about individual conspiracies um, in an effort to maybe just spread information. With that out of the way, Let's get into our theory. So today we're talking about Yaldabaoth. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I might be wrong, but Yaldabaoth. Um, before we actually get into talking about him, however, we do need to do a quick little rundown on Gnosticism. So Gnosticism, and uh, I am not an expert. Uh, <laughs> let me just uh, pop that out there real quick not an expert this is an incredibly high level overview of gnosticism this is just some details i think are pertinent to this video specifically so gnosticism is essentially a belief system where they believe that the world was created and ruled by a lesser divinity called the demiurge demiurge is just a uh, a word i'll get into that in a minute but uh basically the demiurge created the earth lesser divinity lesser god um, and christ was actually an emissary of a remote supreme divine being right so to sort of break it down a little bit there's the god that made the earth and then there is the unknowable god above that god the unknowable god is who sent jesus as an emissary to give us hope okay now there's obviously more to gnosticism than that little rundown but uh, the important thing is that there is more than one god in addition to that um the gnostic pardon me the gnostics do also believe that knowledge is an integral part of the beliefs versus only faith so rather than uh, modern Christianity sort of kind of has the concept of faith-based, right? Everything that you believe is based on faith. Gnostics specifically believe that the most essential part of the uh, process of salvation is personal knowledge and enlightenment. 
All right, so now that we have a little rundown about what Gnosticism is, blah, Gnosticism is, good Lord, I swear, don't know what the hell's going on with my brain today. You're, you're a fucking idiot. Okay, but we have a little understanding of where we're coming from. Now we need to talk about who Yaldabaoth is. So Yaldabaoth, um, again, the name is just a mouthful. I, I'm sure I'll mispronounce it a bunch of times, but this dude's a little creepy. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. So uh, Yaldabaoth is an evil deity uh, and creator of our material world, and he is regarded as the Demiurge. Um, so a Demiurge is just a fancy word for creator, basically. Uh, there are some other implications with that word, but when I read about it, this is what I drew from it, right? Demiurge is creator. Creator is Demiurge. Uh, so basically, he's regarded as a false god who keeps the souls, our souls, trapped here in physical bodies imprisoned in the material universe. Yaldabaoth is actually represented by a theriomorphic lion-headed serpent. What the hell is even that? Which, that, uh, that's... It's an image I don't, I don't know if I'll ever be able to remove from my brain. And um, so to kind of, uh, I guess, uh, high level overview that, Yaldabaoth is a lesser snake lion god, snake slash lion god, who is keeping us trapped here. Yay! All right. So as mentioned, this is uh, Conspiracy Theories with Ike. This isn't just theology with Ike. Um, conspiracy Theories with Ike means that there is actually a theory about Yaldabaoth. So now that we know who he is, or who they are, obviously, I don't know if Yaldabaoth is a he. Uh, now that we know who Yaldabaoth is, now that we know what Gnosticism is, we have the context, we have the information about who this is, now we can talk about the theory. So, basically, the theory here is that Christianity is incorrect. Wow. Um, I mean, it's funny how many theories that I've just covered from this iceberg that basically is like, yeah, what you guys know is wrong. But uh, so the theory is basically rather than God that we know creating Earth, y'all, our, our boy Yaldabaoth did. My boy. That's my boy. No, my boy. Father help. Um, so a few things that I do want to at least mention is that first and foremost, there are two theories, right? There are two theories that explain why Yaldabaoth created us and all that. Um, I didn't really see much of how he created this. Uh, basically, everything's the same in the Bible. Like, instead of God creating us, it's just Yadavah. And that the God that we worship is basically this, like, unknowable God that is above Yadavah, who is, like, just a supreme being. So, basically, there are two theories. Theory number one is the evil God, Yadavah. So basically, this version, he basically created us and created Earth and made it in such a way that they specifically intended it to be bad, right? Everything's supposed to be bad. Like, we are being trapped here in our physical forms as some form of punishment, okay? Now, uh, in this kind of version of things, um, there are a few things that we look at the Bible and they're reflected differently, right? Um, in this version, uh, one important piece of information is that the serpent that tempted Adam and Eve is actually a good guy. And here's why. He is praised for bringing knowledge to Adam and Eve and thereby freeing them from Yaldabaoth's control. So in this version of the Bible, in this version of Yaldabaoth, he's an evil guy who created us, created Adam and Eve to torture them, whatever. You know, basically we're souls being trapped in human bodies for eternity because why not? And the serpent actually frees them from his control by giving them information, right? Which kind of leads to the whole concept that in the Gnostic uh, belief, knowledge is what gives you salvation. Um, so basically, the, again, the concept of Gnosticism also relies heavily like on that good versus evil. So there's that eternal conflict of Yaldabaoth, the evil versus the benevolent unknown god, right? So it's very interesting, honestly. The whole concept of a lesser god and also of a benevolent, liberating serpent of the Old Testament, if you will, it's actually quite interesting. Um, I feel like there's a lot that could be done with that in terms of a belief system. And I think that it could honestly, uh, it could answer a lot of questions, right? We do have a lot of questions and a lot of stuff that contradicts itself within the Bible. A lot of stuff about how the God of the Old Testament, you know, and why Jesus was so important, why he was sent, you know, how can the God of the Old Testament 
want to suddenly save us. You know, it's a whole thing. And I'm not super religious by any means, but this is a very interesting take on this, con you know, this whole consideration. Lots of different stuff to it. There's obviously more to Gnosticism and Yaldabaoth, but this is sort of just like, you know, overview. But that's theory one. Yaldabaoth, he's evil, created us to, for pain and suffering, trapped us in these bodies, so on and so forth. Now the other, the alternative to an evil god, is an incompetent, ignorant one. Um, this one is actually, uh, it's lesser believed, but uh, when I was doing research, there was a uh, point in time, because Gnostics have been around for a long while. I think they said like the 12th century, 12th or 14th century, one of those two. Um, but they've been around for a while. The concept of Gnosticism has, has been around for a very long time, but specifically, uh, there was a point where not, most Gnostics believed in the evil Yaldabaoth God, right? He's a lesser God, created us for evil. But there is a lesser group that was like, you know what? What if Yaldabaoth wasn't such a bad guy? You know what I mean? So basically they're like, uh, basically Yaldabaoth is just weak, right? Not weak in our terms, but in godly terms, he's a weak God. And he basically lacked the power to properly create us and the world and basically did his best. So... I mean, good job, I guess, right? Good job, my man. Um, now this one, obviously, I think seems sort of like the weaker of the two theories, uh, even somewhat of a cop-out, like my guy, my, my my guy, my my brother in Christ, Yaldabaoth, he did his best. We're trapped in physical form, destined to suffer, but he still tried his best, right? Um, but you might be asking, where where does this come from? Where does this whole concept of Gnosticism and Yaldabaoth all come from? And well, there there's a lot of information about this. Uh, quite frankly, um, I use Wikipedia as my launching point to find other information. So if you go to Wikipedia. There are so many like texts and books and stuff like that that kind of talk about like Gnosticism and this whole concept. Honestly, it, it I, 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 you know, if I was a little more, uh, I would say a little more uh, scholarly, I would probably read more about this, but I don't know, man. I, I just have a hard time reading books these days. I was just, I'm just busy. What up? I'm Jared. I'm 19 and I never fucking learned how to read. But yeah. So there's obviously a lot more to Yaldabaoth, and I could do like a whole video on some of the other lore about him, but as the theory appears on this iceberg, I believe it has to do with him being our creator, right? Rather than God being our creator, the one that we think that we think of when we think of God, it's not actually our creator, right? That's the unknowable divine entity, um, God, versus our creator, the lesser eviler snake lion or yaldabaoth so there you go that is the theory about why yaldabaoth is our creator that's the theory as it is appears on the iceberg yeah evil lesser known snake lion god all right thanks again to cicada 12 5 for the iceberg uh, i know these videos are getting a little shorter sometimes but honestly it's because i'm starting to like formulate and like narrow down on certain things like what information should i include what information should i not include so i'm starting to get a little bit better with this um so honestly yeah but yeah thanks cicada 12 5 as always for the inspiration on these videos but uh i do want to touch briefly again on what i talked about at the beginning and i and i don't want to like dwell on this and i really just want to emphasize i don't mean any hate towards this person who commented they are entitled to their opinion i just want to make sure other folks know that i am trying to do my own thing i think the thing that sets me apart is again i, I focus on one or two things per video maybe two theories you know versus a huge theory video about everything and i do think that the the biggest thing here is i do try to focus on each theory and do a little bit of a deeper dive and maybe provide a more in-depth and informed look but you know I don't think that I have to justify myself, and I know that I don't, but I just wanted folks to know my intentions, because I, I never want there to be a time where maybe one of my fans, if I have any fans, is out there watching this video, and they're just like, well, he's just trying to copy, you know, Joe Schmo from down the road, you know, he's trying to f copy somebody else, Wendigoon, 
And that's not my intention. I, I'm merely bringing you similar content because, again, it's so hard to make original content. So nowadays, I feel like the biggest thing is while I can't necessarily bring you 100% original content, I can give you my authentic take on said content. Because most of these conspiracy theories have been around for a long time, for at least 10, 15, 20 years probably. And since YouTube's been around, people have been talking about conspiracy theories. So it's not like, it's not like this is unheard of. So I just don't want people to think that I'm trying to copy anybody. I'm just trying to give you my authentic self. Who I present to you is who I am. I am a sarcastic, foul mouth person sometimes. And I just like to slip that in when I can. So that's the shit, man. That's the shit. Anyhow, I'm not going to keep holding you guys up here. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think Yaldabaoth is our uh, evil, lesser-known snake lion god. And if you do think that, praise be to Yaldabaoth. Um, and uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Happy Friday when you're watching this. It's Friday. When I film this, it's still super early in the week. So I'm really like, you know, TGIF. Um, it's not here yet for me, but it will be. Uh, I think I mentioned before I'm going on a cruise soon, so you'll have that video um, <clears throat> probably next month once I get back from the cruise and everything else. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are having, again, a wonderful Friday. hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to let you guys go. So everybody who's watching, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Yaldabaoth. Let me know what you want to see me cover next. Let me know if you have any ideas. I like to steal people's ideas. Um, and as always, like, favorite, share, subscribe, follow us on social media, all that good shit. And uh, yeah, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay awesome. We will see you in the next one. See ya.